so in this tutorial i'll show you how you can run your first android project okay so for running on android project we use one tool that's called android studio the first thing you need to download it from android studio website so i'm just searching for download android studio This is the website and you can download it from here. So I'm not going to show you how to do the setup because it will be different for different operating systems. Okay, so I already have downloaded it and I'm just going to open it from here. okay it's showing that no android sdk found okay so sdk means software development kit and it needs to be downloaded before you start developing android apps click on next and click on next it will download this android sdk it's it's it is for api 29 that's for android 10 Click next and click finish it will take some time okay so this download is completed and i'll click on here finish okay so i click here this start a new android studio project okay and it shows some project templates that we can select from you can just create on full screen activity that means a full screen application or one navigation drawer activity it's like one application with one drawer select drawer okay or you can just create one scrolling activity that means one scrolling application okay on one tab activity means tab application and i'll just go to these templates later on but now i click on this empty activity okay i'll click on here next and it shows me to give a name for this application okay my first step then this is the package name and you can just give any package name but by convention it is used as com dot your domain name suppose your domain name is uh, my domain okay dot and okay just leave it like that and i'm just checking this language as kotlin here you can choose from java or kotlin i'm choosing it as kotlin and this is the minimum sdk version that means and your application what is the minimum sdk or software development kit or sdk or android version you are going to support for example you can support from ice cream sandwich or you can support from jelly bean okay Suppose I am supporting from KitKat. That's Android 4.4. Android Studio also shows how, like, approximate how much devices it is going to support it. If you select any one of these uh, API level, suppose I am selecting API 29, then it will be like only 8.2% of devices it will support gl from globally. So I am selecting KitKat it's like 98.1 percent of device then i'll click on here finish it will load our project here and you can just minimize this window from here okay this one is called assistant window like some helps and tips you'll get and this is a gradle window and here you have this terminal and this one is like build information like currently this build is running and this is to do window if you add any to do item here then it will appear on this to do window so this is our application <coughs> and the build is running 
let's wait for it to complete okay so the build is completed and here you can see that this play button is activated now okay if you want to run this application on a physical device or any emulator then you just need to click on this play button okay so if i click here then it shows me that no target device is found you need to select one device from here so if your uh, android phone is connected to your computer and debugging mode is enabled then your phone will be shown here okay so i'll click on this open avt manager it means android virtual device manager we can create virtual devices that means emulator and we can run this application on this virtual device I click on this create virtual device then you can select from a lot of different virtual devices suppose you clicked on this picture excel and click on next and you need to download these devices apis like for android r you can download or android q or pi or oreo and you can download any one of these images so i'm just going to download this q image here okay i'll click on this q accept next and it will just download this image after this download is done you can create any types of device any types of emulator for android q check here this api level is 29 for android q okay it's like 1.1 gb so it will take some time okay the download is completed i'll click on this finish button here and you can see that this q is downloaded click on next then you can give one partial device name i'll leave it as my pixel pixel api 29 you can choose the orientation of this startup so whenever you start this device then it will start on portrait or landscape mode i'm selecting it's just portrait and it will select as automatic for graphics click on this finish button it will start this virtual device now to start this device click on this play button here or double just double click here I'm double clicking on it and it will start my AVT showing as a starting AVT. Wait for it. Uh, here it is starting. Here it is starting, and here it is. Here is my Android Q Pixel XL API 29. It will first start. Now our application will run here. You can click on this build window and you can see that this build is successful. So okay, I think it stopped. I click on it here again and it's starting again build so finally my app is running on this emulator and this is the basic way of how to download uh, android studio and how to run your first application on an emulator so from max trail i will just go into the code and i'll show you how you can change this screen how to you can create new screens and like all these different components of android and finally we'll build some real world application okay thank you for watching this video and if you like this video just subscribe and like my video okay bye